So hi and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader in today's uh, lesson or a particularly video. I'm going to show you how to play Souths in your, in your trading terminal in this case. It can't be MT4 or uh, MT5, it doesn't really matter over here. So <laughs> maybe for demonstration purposes, I can just restart and you can hear. So, so you can listen to how how beautiful the sounding is actually in uh, mt5 in mt5 in this uh, case that is where i am running on it um, on my trading terminal so maybe you may want to uh, get the user's attention in this case maybe you opened an order or maybe you want to basically play you are bored and you want to play a certain sound so maybe you can have a particular expert advisor that you just like uh, or maybe a script that you just like uh, maybe initialize then it is just you just listen to a particular sound or a music it can be it can be a long music as uh, you have heard it doesn't need to be a five seconds or a one second music it can be something up to minutes several minutes uh, up, i think up up to about an hour so yeah basically i don't know why we want to use this one but basically you want to use this one why you want to get users attention attention maybe you get a signal you want to play a certain alert or a certain sound where you just have defined this sound is maybe for a signal generation maybe this sound is for a particular opening of order or a closing of order or a, or a loss of connection or a success in connection or a success in opening a trade okay basically everything all that shit so the first thing that you want to do over here of course is to open the metadata and uh, you can uh, easily do this one by clicking on this little ide icon over here so next i'll just navigate and pre-check on my algo trading folder then click on new expert advisor from template then click on next of course then providing the name maybe let's say sounds playing on terminal or whichever the name you want to give to your ea file then click on next next and then finally finish so the first thing that i want to do over here is that i will show you the most basic uh, steps for doing this one so the most basic step maybe i can go to the on in its section and uh, i can i can play so basically for you to place out you just need to type in a, a predefined mql5 function which is basically play sound and you can see it is a boolean type of a function so then maybe we can check the things that are contained in this kind of function by pressing by just maybe that was quick by just hovering over the wording then pressing f1 on a keyboard then it just plays a sound file in this case simply put so maybe we could just play a file over here so the most basic or the most um amateur way of doing this one is uh, just i will uh, what what can i play over here is there something like okay uh, first of all just need to play dot wav files you need to have a dot wav file for it to be played as you can see over here as a note the file must be located be located in the terminal directory sounds or a, or a its subdirectory then only wav files are played over here so you just need to play a wav file so i can just go ahead and uh, i can compile this one then maybe to initialize this one i can just go control n to open the navigator or simply you can just go to view and then navigator over here so i'll just control plus and yeah opening the navigator then from here we can source for our file which was basically sounds sounds playing i'll just attach it to the chat and then we should hear some yeah you can hear that is dot okay sound so basically <laughs> maybe we can play another sound maybe a lot a lot sound 
so you can hear the, where the sound is uh, stored or basically again maybe here so you can hear that is now another alert i think is there alert 2 i think do we have alert 2 yeah certainly we do have alert 2 so basically for you to found to find basically whenever you install your metatrader 5 or a metatrader 5 client trading terminal in this case these sounds are uh, are uh, also installed and you can easily find these sounds by just navigating to the directory as as uh, we had seen over here by just navigating to the, the terminal directory over here so where you find you find these uh, sounds i'll show you in a minute in a minute just allow me to show you in a minute so you can find them to by going to uh, just open just go to is it this pc yeah you just basically need to go to this pc then uh, local disk over here then over here you need to navigate to the program files as you can see over here or where you are you are a terminal is you where you have installed your terminal then you can open it then mine is xness so i just need to go to xness over here so metatrader 5 xness is my terminal directly over here so i just open on it and then we should find it on the sounds so sounds and then you can see we have all of these uh, pre-installed the that pre-installed sounds that come handy with the metatrader they, they are just automatic they, they just come handy with the metatrader 5 or your trading terminal once you install on it so we can just go again and maybe we can have this email that we have over there so maybe we can have not a lot but maybe email so let me compile this one and you can listen to the sound incoming mail yeah <laughs> we do have an incoming mail so this is the most basic way of uh, playing sounds in this uh, case it is the most basic way so i'll just show you uh, another real uh, and uh, easy way of playing your own uh, your own sounds maybe you do not want these predefined sounds that you that uh, we have seen incoming mail installed in the terminal directly in this uh, case so what we need to do over here is uh, we just need to locate our files and the files that that we locate should be contained in these uh, in these files uh, folder that uh, you see over here on the experts folder then the files that are contained in the directory so what we need to do we just need to create a resource of our file let's say if, even actually before creating a resource of our file we can just go ahead and uh, do hope that i have let me open this folder so over here uh, just navigated to the terminal directly over here again on the meta codes terminal yeah bra 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 mql5 and then files then over here you can see i have these uh, sounds that uh, you can maybe listen to them like for example i do have these sounds number sound number two <laughs> the, the one for a man loving maniacally or uh, something like that one so maybe i want to actually these sounds are uh, you can't check the properties they are dot wav files in this case you can't play mp3 or mp4 in this uh, case so if i navigate to properties you can see they are dot the type of file is a dot wav file in this uh, case they are wav files in this uh, case so what i want to mean over here is that uh, you cannot play any other uh, mp4 mp3 in or basically any other uh, kind of uh, audio file so if you have the you if you have mp3 or uh, mp4 or whichever any other kind of a dif different file you just need to convert it to a dot file and uh, you can do you can do this one online you can just do this one online there is no any uh, problem with that one so what you need to do uh, basically you can see over here you just need to navigate to mql5 or uh, maybe your trading terminal over here this is now my trading terminal then mql for the xns in this case then you can see we have mql5 then you just need to go you there is a already a predefined files folder over here in your case it could be empty because mine i have already tampered with this so maybe to install yourself this is what you just need to do 
go straight up to your files by following the procedures that uh, you have seen and then over here you can just like uh, copy and paste your file on this files folder that you can see over here so that is what i exactly did and uh, you can see for us now to play this sound for us to play that sound so we can actually even have uh, can copy this one and then paste it then comment this one out then we can go ahead and uh, play that sound i think it was 2.12 so don't need to delete this dot wav so it is something like uh, this one. so if i compile this one there is no any um uh, there is no that kind that sound will never be played why <laughs> the reason is because that sound is never is not installed on the on the terminal directly in this uh, case where where we have predefined where these email dot wav files or uh, sound files were in this uh, case so we have to predefine it so for us not predefine this one we uh, we can have something like uh, we can use these uh, box double backslashes then point out to the files over here in mql5 using these double backslashes means that we want to locate a file that is included in mql5 so from mql5 just go to the files and then once you are in files you can just like go ahead and then compile it so then <laughs> So then you can hear that uh, we are actually able to play this particular sound. So yeah, <laughs> we are able to play that uh, particular sound. So which means that uh, that is exactly what you need to do. Again, after deleting these uh, these uh, uh, files over here, yeah, these uh, backslashes and then files, it means that uh, we cannot find that uh, file. We do not have the the tree or the or, or the direction to that kind of a particular file. So we can compile this one, and then again, you can see we are able to play the sound. Then another very important thing: what if these uh, since you have customized these. Uh, let me do this one again since you have customized this uh, audio file in this uh, case it means that without the file you cannot play that particular sound so open folder then i will navigate back to where over yeah i will refresh this one i will reinitialize this one so that we play the sound again <laughs> So can yeah we are actually able to play that sound what if we just go ahead and delete this sound is it two yeah it was two i'll just go ahead and delete delete that one then i will reinitialize my program again see we are not able to play the sound which means that without the file we are not able to play the sound what if you want to give this program to maybe a client or you want to give the program to maybe uh, your friend or uh, whichever or someone else you simply want to transfer it but you want to transfer it with the sound together with the sound so what you simply do let me undo this one what you simply need to do is that uh, you need to include this file as a as a resource so what you need to do over here is just go pretty much ahead and uh, you can use the hashtag then resource uh, uh, keyword and then you just need to go ahead and provide in these files over here you need to include actually i can just copy the all of it and then paste it over here so right now uh, after doing this one you just like include it as a resource you can just go ahead and read the the documentation for this uh, resource uh, keyword or a property over here so you can just press f1 on your keyboard and then you can have a look at what the the resources keyword over there does so i can go ahead and compile this one <laughs> We, what we we just basically do over here is that uh, we create 
we create duplicates. <laughs> we just create copies of this kind of a file, then we are able to compile uh, them. So what we need to do over here, you can see we have created .wav, 2.wav is created as a resource, and then we didn't we need to use these uh, these uh, pointer over here, these double columns to call this kind of a particular file. So what you need to do over here is go ahead and use replace these uh, double backslashes with double colons then brah that is the, then everything that we need so again you can yeah that we are able to play the sound which means that whenever we go ahead delete this file to over here we should be able to play it whatsoever because we have created a copy dot to to the dot ex5 file we have created a copy to this where is the sounds to sounds over here we have created a copy to this dot ex5 file that uh, is over here so if i initialize it again you can <laughs> hear that we are able to play the sound whatsoever we are able to play the sound whatsoever because even if we do not have that that uh, file we are able to play the sound which means that uh, it is created uh, a copy of it is uh, stored or created in the .ex5 uh, file or in the executable so which however <laughs> over here you cannot come again and compile this on it will give you an error because that file cannot be found which means that you cannot be able to rerun this again it will not work so for the for the source code you just need that file however for the executable you do not need that kind of a file if once you uh, store it so what you need to do over here is of course pretty much i need to go back and uh, undo my deletion so which means actually you can also play this a uh, beep we can play that beep let's say let's say uh, just go over here the beep and then over here again you can have the beep so you can yeah we are able to play the beep so again you can just play sound number one which is exactly what uh, which is a replica of what i shown you on the previous uh, at the introductory part of this uh, lesson so yeah So basically that is uh, everything that you need to actually create uh, files that uh, you use to get the user's attention or uh, attention or uh, make the user happy maybe you are stressed out in uh, yeah basically something like that however i should uh, point out some few things over here about these uh, files over here whenever you uh, attach your dot wav audio file in this uh, case these files need to be it cannot be greater than 128 mb so it needs to be less than or equal to 128 mb and again the characters that you have over here the correct okay after the quotation marks inside the quotation marks in this case these characters cannot be less cannot be they need to be less than or equal to again uh, 63 uh, characters characters so that is all that uh, you needed to know about this kind of a video and uh, thank you bye bye and see you on the next video lesson